Greetings and salutations, lovers of epic space fantasy! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Yes, we've put it off for nearly two years now, but it's time to finally dive into it. I like Star Wars. Yes, I have my own issues with the prequels. Who doesn't? But the universe is rich and filled with incredible tales and fantastic characters. All of which brings me to the beginning of the Clone Wars. Which brings me to today's topic, the Clone Wars the Movie. Released in 2008, this movie serves as an introduction to the Clone Wars CGI series. The Separatists kidnap Jabba the Hutt's child in an attempt to force him to their side, but Anakin Skywalker and his Padawan Ahsoka Tano lead a daring rescue. Sadly, the critics were less than thrilled with this particular outing, and movie review website Rotten Tomatoes only rates it 18%. But is this rating justified? Or is this movie a crate crystal in the rough? Let's find out! So grab your lightsabers, and prepare to lead the charge into... Star Wars The Clone Wars The Movie! A galaxy divided! Striking swiftly after the Battle of Geonosis, Count Dooku's droid army has seized control of the major hyperspace lanes, separating the Republic from the majority of its clone army. With few clones available, the Jedi Generals cannot gain a foothold in the Outer Rim. While the Jedi are occupied fighting a war, no one is left to keep the peace. Chaos and crime spread. Crime Lord Jabba the Hutt's son has been kidnapped by a rival band of pirates. Well, hang on a minute. Isn't all that my job? Supreme Chancellor Palpatine overlooks the situation. The Hutts control the Outer Rim and we'll need their space lanes in order to move our troops. On the planet Christophsis, it's business as usual for our mismatched Jedi pair. Follow me. Turn the troops around! <laughs> and after all that, we meet Ahsoka Tano. Looks like help has arrived. Padawan novice Ahsoka Tano, ladies and gentlemen. She's been assigned by Master Yoda as Anakin Skywalker's new Padawan, and he's none too happy about it. He's the one who wanted the Padawan. No, Master Yoda was very specific. I'm assigned to Anakin Skywalker, and he is to supervise my Jedi training. Well, maybe Master Yoda saw the good in him too. But there's no time for bickering, as the droids are on the march. What's that? Not good. The villainous Asajj Ventress has Jabba's child in a monastery on the planet Teth. Back on Christophsis, things are looking bleak. Well, I, for one, <clears throat> agree with her. But General Kenobi has a plan. I surrender. I didn't say it was a good plan. After all, Obi-Wan's never had much luck with those. Going after Anakin on Mustafar. Splitting up the twins. Not telling Luke that Darth Vader was his father. Going back as far as episode one and rushing through the power couplings on Naboo would have been a good plan. Obi-Wan never really figured out that living force doctrine. Of course, no plan survives first contact. Wait! Forget about the droids! Enough of this! You are stalling! Nonsense. But soon, the shield is down. And the battle is over. You never would have made it as Obi-Wan's Padawan, but you might make it as mine. Aww, touching. But the story doesn't end here, as there's still a hutlet to rescue. To the Teth system. Teth? Kidnapped. Jabba the Hutt's son has been. And so, Sky Guy and Snips land on Teth, under heavy fire, and prepare to make the rescue. 
The first order of business is scaling the mountain where the monastery sits. Now, they say of the mountains on Teth where the monastery sits, that this joke will make absolutely no sense to anyone unless they watch QI on a regular basis. Surrender, Jedi. I can't get much closer. The second order of business is to recover a baby hut. Where is the hut? The BattleBots kept their prisoners on the detention level. I'm He's a lot younger than I thought he'd be. Oh, he's just a baby. I tell ya, these Sith have got no idea how to look after prisoners. I mean, sticking a baby in a filthy jail cell? Sickening's what it is. Literally, his little stinky gets sick from it. You're right. We've got to get him back to the ship immediately. Trooper, get me a backpack! But a few reckless words from Sky Guy lead Count Dooku to twist events to his own narrative. I hate hunts. Back on Teth, the Separatists just don't let up. The clones pull into the monastery, but oh dear. Luckily, Obi Wan evens the odds. Copy that, sir. The surviving clones strike back. Where's General Skywalker? He'll be here. And Sky Guy finds a transport. With a ship on it. Nice work, Stinky. But an easy passage this is not, as the battleship's hangar bay is shot. Nasty? Then again, these are clones, so who knows? Looks like we're gonna have to take this bucket of bolts all the way to Tatooine. With the huddling growing weaker all the way. There's gotta be something we can do for him. Take a look in the back. See if you can find some medical supplies. I'm on it. Luckily, a medical booster stabilizes Stinky. You'll take this and like it. <laughs> <laughs> Charming. But all is not well as Count Dooku spins a deadly falsehood to Jabba the Hutt. By the time we were able to find Jabba's son, Skywalker had already... killed him. And so, our Jedi, and their droid, land on the Dust Bowl world of Tatooine. Then it's a crash landing! Well, any landing you can walk away from... Also, Anakin Skywalker is the best pilot in the galaxy, so there's nobody I'd feel safer crashing with than him. Senator Amidala attempts to talk another hut into a treaty, which goes about as well as you'd expect. No, no more discussions. Escort her out, please. But only because Zyro the Hut was in league with Dooku all along. Your plot is coming apart, Count Dooku. Padme is captured. This particular senator is extremely valuable to my separatist allies. But still manages to send out an SOS. Please, I beg you. Wait, who are you? You're not Mistress Padman. 3PO, get help! I'm being held by Zero the Hut! And is soon rescued. Go, 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 go. Back on Tatooine, Anakin and Dooku square off. while Ahsoka is ambushed. I have a message from your Padawan. Skywalker rushes to his Padawan's aid. Master! Over here! Master! Master! Uh, it never listens. But the terrible misunderstanding only makes things worse. What have you done with my Padawan? Ahsoka returns the hutlet. Padme delivers Zyro's confession. I have discovered a plot against you by one of your own. It was Count Dooku! The Naga Zero Peace! And all is well. The clone armies may move through Jabba's territories. Senator, you have my undying gratitude. No, ma'am. Well, 
considering there's a whole lot more Clone War to fight, that is. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Star Wars, The Clone Wars, The Movie. And come on, this is Star Wars we're talking about. Of course I'm going to put it into the House of Love. Let's start with the negatives. James Arnold Taylor, much gravitas as he has, and with a respectable sound alike of Ewan McGregor, is still slightly dodgy to my ears. But apart from that, and of course the gritty war feel of this movie, this is a triumph. It has that special Star Wars something that many have said the prequels lacked. The indie ploys, the lightsaber battles, the used universe, it all adds up to something that I think is gravely underrated. This movie is a perfect introduction to the series to come. And that's the show. I've been Funky Monkey, and may the Force be with us all. So long, folks. Thank <music> you.